Hello folks, right in this video today we're going to link up the Odelin BRE1A remote with the Canon M50 camera here. I don't know how you pronounce this, it's Adelian, Odelin or whatever, I'm probably mispronouncing it anyway. anyway. These videos, I'm just making these videos as like a reference to myself really, um, just in case I forget if I need this information again and uh, if anybody can get any benefit from this video then that's great too anyway so I'll get on with it all right so first of all let's turn on the Canon M50 and what I'm going to do first of all is set this menu to um, the menu without the um, guide because it will go dark also and uh, show up on the screen I've done this video twice already and uh, it hasn't come out right so uh, right so display level settings menu display right standard so standard uh, menu right so let's go back to the menu here right so hopefully that will appear up on the screen so you've got dark background and light writing there so we can see what we're doing and it will come up on the camera right anyway so back to where we are right now we're going to uh, link up the the remote with the Canon M50 camera. So first of all what we need to do is enable the remote control. So that's in our shooting sec uh, shooting settings section. So you can either use the Q set button or tap on the um, on-screen display. So we're going to enable that and now we need to shoot over to functions I think it is. And uh, so you've got the, the tool thingy. I think that's like the function area. And uh, go down to wireless communication settings. Press OK there. Bluetooth function. And set that to remote. Well, it says I have to put a nickname on it. So um, that'll do the EOS M50. Just to save a bit of time. okay okay right now we need to pair this up oh by the way when you're doing this you're setting up the remote make sure you've got the camera set in the video setting on the wheel there the video recorder setting because you have a uh, different options some different options on the video camera setting to the photo setting All right so now what we need to do now is go down to pairing select pairing Pairing in progress, start pairing on the wireless remote. So that's what we're gonna do. So what we need to do here is just press W and T on the remote and wait till it to start flashing and it should appear up on the screen once it's found. Right, paired with the, it's just got a number there. I don't need to read that out. The remote needs to be set to number in the two position. Um, I actually forgot about that and it was um, set on the uh, camera position and it's still paired up so there we are we'll see if it works but anyway if you're doing it I think it's best to make sure you've got your remote uh, selected on number two on your remote while pairing up right so there we are let's go on to the next stage right now usually this should be enough to get the uh, the remote working so let's just try it out there might be a few problems and I'll explain those shortly right so now we're in camera mode let's take off the lens cap right now with I'm going to set the remote to the video camera setting and if I press that the video camera activates let's hold this up so you can see so it's activated now, switch it off, switch it on, switch it off, switch it on, switch it off. Right, now let's test out the camera function. This may or may not work. So I'm going to set the remote to the camera, which is just the dot at the end, past the two. Let's select manual on the camera. So it's working with the button on the camera. And now let's try it with the remote. So 
So nothing's happening. So I'm pressing that, nothing's happening. Right, now I look this up on a troubleshooting thing and they say if you set this to, if you set the camera, um, if you set the drive mode to 10 seconds, this should make it work. So that's what we're gonna do. Drive mode, 10 seconds, okay. Let's go back to the camera. So you need something to focus on. Be careful of this. Right, so it's found something there. I had to move it around a bit. Otherwise the camera's not gonna go off if it hasn't focused in on something. Right, so just operated that through the camera button. Now we're gonna try the remote. Right, let's just move this camera around a bit so you can see what's going on. Right, here we go again. So there we are, you see. But if you notice when I'm pressing the button on the um, remote, there's not a 10 second delay as it's set up. It just uh, pretty much automatically takes the picture. But that's good enough for me. And that's how you get it working. So just to recap, uh, set your set your uh, start off with before installing the remote. Make sure you've got set, everything set up. So um, in the menu, the shooting settings. Make sure you, right. So we're on select video camera on the wheel. Shooting settings. Enable remote control. And then go along to find wireless communication settings, Bluetooth function remote, and of course, um, once that was switched on, we paired it up, which the pairing thing came up um, when we were setting the thing up, uh, when we were setting up the remote initially. And uh, then just if 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 the if the remote isn't working still, then you just need to go back to shooting mode and make sure the camera is set in camera mode and manual in this case. Go back to menu, drive mode, set that to ten seconds, and then Bob Bob's your uncle, or Bob should be your uncle. And there we have it. And also, if you want, obviously, if you want to do videos, go back to video. So that's on camera. Switch back to video. And there we are. Videos enabled. On, off, on, off, off. Didn't hear me that time. Right. So that's about it. I think that's all. That's it. Pretty much covered. And. Um, if you if you've got any um, more advice about this remote, please let us know in the comments below. Troubleshooting um, advice and perhaps uh, how to use this um, with more capabilities. Perhaps uh, how I use it is what the fit the the functions I've got it set up as is enough for what I need. But um, any extra advice would be handy for not just me but anybody that watches this video. On this remote, the but all the buttons work. Um, the uh, zoom, zoom in and zoom out. So that's a W and T there. Automatic focus works, and of course the uh, button to uh, take shots and turn the video camera on and off. So that's pretty much all I well all I pretty much use it for is just to um, activate the uh, the button to turn it on and off. We'll take a photo and the autofocus. Autofocus is obviously handy if you're at the other end of the room or wherever you are. So anyway, I hope this video helps uh, anybody that's watching it. And um, I hope it makes sense. Uh, thanks for watching. See you soon and over and out for now. Cheers.